Hi, and thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today we're going to explore how to upload images in Design Space. So before we start, we need to collect our images. So I'm going to click on a new tab, and in my Google search page, I'm just going to put bird clip art. Now I'm not going to get into copyright information in this video, but I suggest that you research that on your own and find out what images you can use and what images you cannot use. Everyone has a different interpretation and I would rather you do your own research on that. But I'm just going to click on or type in bird clip art and then click on images and here I have all kinds of birds. Now what I am looking for when I am looking for an image, if you hover over the image you will see a number pop up right here and that is the resolution of the image. The higher the number, the better the resolution of the image, which means the clearer it's going to be. So I'm going to click on some images and just see what I can find here. It doesn't have to be super high. You don't want anything I would say under 200, which isn't to say that some of those won't work, but I generally try to stick to at least 400. So I'm just going to use this cute little bird right here. He's from the clip art library and I know that he is free to use. So I'm going to click on him. So the first thing I notice when I open this or click on this image is that there is a tiled background and that means this image is a PNG. And what that means is there are, there's no color where the tiled background is. So when I use this image, I'm going to get actually the bird, all the color of the bird, everything there, but there's not going to be anything around the edges. And that is ideal for using in design space, which isn't to say you can't use an image with a white background. So I'm going to right click on this image and click save image as, and we're going to call this bird. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. Great. Now I'm going to look for another image. I want to show you how to deal with an image that has a white background. And here is another image that has a white background. So I want to show you how to use that one. So we're going to right click, save image as, and I'm going to call this bird two and save. So let's hop over to design space and find out how to use these images. The first thing we're going to do is click on new project. And we're going to be focusing on this button right here called Upload. So on this screen, you're going to see two options, Upload Image or Upload Pattern. We're going to be using Upload Image. And you can see here, you can use any image that ends in JPG, which is a JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, a bitmap, an SVG, or a DXF. We're going to be focusing on the PNG and the JPEG in this video. So we're going to click on upload image and here we can drag and drop or we can browse. So let me make my screen a little bit smaller for a moment. And here is our bird and it's a PNG file. So we're going to drag it and drop it. And let me make my screen big again. Here you have a couple of options. You can save it as a simple image, a moderately complex image and a complex image. The complex image is going to save the most detail. The simple image is going to delete some of the details. I generally always save as a complex image. Now, if you have an image that you have uploaded, the resolution's not very good and the edges look a little jaggedy, then you might want to save it as a simple image because it's going to lose some of that detail. And I'm just going to click on the different ones to show you. Watch this bird and in particular, watch some of these details. So if I click on simple, that's all it's going to say. We just lost that image right here and the wing. If we click on moderately complex, I don't see a lot of difference, but if we click on complex, we get all the details of the bird and that's what we want. So I'm going to click continue. Here we have the option to clean up this image and it looks pretty good. I don't think we need to clean up anything, but just to double check, we can look at the preview window and that's showing us what design space is seeing as where it's going to cut and that looks great. So we can hide that preview and click continue. Here we have two more options. We can save it as a print and cut image 
or we can save it as a cut image. The difference is if we save it as a print and cut image, it's going to print this in our printer. It's going to print all this color and the details, the little eye and the cheek. All of this detail is going to save with it. If we save it as a cut image, all we're doing is saving the silhouette of the image. Now I almost always save it as a print and cut image because I can, in Design Space, I can change this to a cut image and make it look like this. But if I save it as a cut image, I can't change it to print and make it bring back all that detail. So I want to save all this detail as much as I can and if I want to change it in Design Space, I will. Now here is a box called tags and a lot of people kind of forget about this, but I strongly recommend that you tag your image. And by that, I mean put some keywords that are going to help you find this image down the road. So I'm going to put bird, I'm going to put green, I'm going to put heart, uh, maybe Valentine, love, anything that if I'm looking for a green bird with hearts, I can put those keywords in the search bar and it's going to help me find this image. And also it's oftentimes uh, great to put in where you got the image in case you need to refer back to see if you can use it for commercial use or whatnot. So then I'm going to click save. And you can see it's right here in my recently uploaded images. So let's go get the other one with the white background and I'm going to show you how to deal with that. So we're going to click upload image and this time we're going to click browse and it's right here on the desktop. And now you can see we have our image. Here's a checkered background, but we also have this white background. Now again, we can choose simple and see what we lose. Moderately complex or complex. I almost always choose complex. Select continue. Now let's look at what design space is seeing as the cut lines. Uh oh, that's not what we want. If we put this bird in design space, it's going to cut around this square box and that's not what we want. We want it to cut out around this bird. So how do we deal with that? We go right up here in the upper left corner and there is a magic wand called select and erase. And all we do is click on the part that we don't want design space to cut out and we don't want this white background. So as simple as that, design space has just deleted all of that white background and to double check it, we can click the preview window. And now we see design space is going to cut out around all this detail of the bird. And that is great. We're going to click hide preview and click continue. Again, we have the choice to save it as a print and cut image or just save the silhouette as a cut image. I'm going to save it as a print and cut image and I'm going to tag it bird, pink, this could be a Valentine bird, red bird, cartoon, oops, anything that's going to help me find it later. And now we're going to click save. All right, here are our recently uploaded images. We could plop those right into Design Space right now just by clicking on it and click, we'll click on both of them, click Insert Images. And here you can see my images are in Design Space. Let's throw them over here by the Layers panel so that you can see what's going on here. They came in as print and cut images. You know that by the printer right here and they're ready to go. We can resize these by clicking and dragging and use them as we would any other image in Design Space. If, as I was telling you, I wanted to change this so that I could just cut the silhouette, if I just click on this and change it to cut, I've now changed that to a cut image. So you see what I mean? If you go ahead and save all the details as a print and cut image, you can always switch it back to this but I can't bring that detail back. So in my opinion, it's just best to always save it as a print and cut image. Now I'm going to click undo so that I have all my details back. Now say you want to, let's get rid of this. Say you want to go back to this bird and it's no longer in your recently uploaded images. How would you find it? You would go to images and like, oh my gosh, where's my bird? 
Well, if we just click bird, let's see what happens. And again, we're going to have to scroll through all of this. I don't want to have to do that. So you can click on filter, click on uploaded, and there they are. And even if they didn't show up, I mean, if I had a bunch of birds that I had uploaded, I could start using those keywords. I could say Valentine. And here are some birds that I have uploaded with the Valentine. I could filter it down with green, pink. So that's how you can find your uploaded images once you have uploaded them. I will put together a cheat sheet for uploading images and you can find the link for that in the description below this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.